Okay. I don't even know if this is working right now, so you're gonna have to bear with me on this one, okay? You're gonna have to bear with me here, all right? We got a computer set up over here. I got my microphone here, you know. We got a, another monitor on the floor. I even know how this is gonna work. Hold on, let me, okay. All right, um, yeah, I should probably, oh, here we go, here we go. Here's some people coming in. Okay, cool. Greetings, everybody. I guess I should back up a bit so I can actually read the, okay, super, yeah, we're good, all right. Ah, uh, should be good. Hello, chat. Oh, man, this is crazy. Quality content. The movie. Yeah, that's right. Anybody that wanted to know about a Teching 101 motion picture, um, this is probably the closest you're going to get to that, where I, I put together not one, not two, not three, not four. I'm, I'm just going to knock it way back. Let's start with 2,500 and work our way up from there. All right. Give it a sec. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. I hope this works. I really do. The sheer lagging. Yeah, well, yeah, drop frames. It's still lagging, 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 lagging. Yeah. A stuttering a bit. Is back. Yeah. 1560. We're holding steady. We're holding steady. <laughs> nope. Now we're 1600. Every time I look away, it jumps up a bit. He's teleporting on the stream. I could do that. I am magic. Okay. All right. What if I just don't move? What if I don't move? Will that do anything? What if I move an arm? Okay. I can move an arm. That's okay. <laughs> All right. It's working. Okay, good. So, um, welcome everybody um it's a good thing i'm doing this on the side channel i have to say uh just stop breathing the stream can't drop any frames if you don't move <laughs> okay um so welcome to best living room no this is not my living room this is my game room yeah i don't think i've ever shown you this room before this was the mysterious room that never existed until now. Um, so, yeah, I've been working on this um, periodically for like the last year uh, or so. Um, it was pretty empty when I moved in. I, this was kind of the last room that I worked on because I'm like, I had more important stuff to deal with. So, um, the first winter I lived here, was this room was pretty much just empty. I didn't really do anything with it. And then last year, like around summer, I started getting, like, I got the couch in here. Uh, me and some friends put up that TV. Uh, I got the pool table in here. Zach helped me put that together. Um, got some of the posters in here last year, but didn't, didn't really get a chance to really use it last year at all. Um, and so now, um, because the weather's been so nice, I've been really going overdrive in here, putting a lot of stuff in here. Uh, a lot of the... Uh, pictures that you see are some of the pictures I've gotten from fans. Some of them I've bought from vendors at various anime conventions. This is really just kind of like my studio version too. That like all the stuff that I can't fit in my studio kind of ended up out here. Um, so yeah, office chairs. Can you show the posters? Um, maybe not right now because i don't know what's going to happen if i move this camera i'm going to have to move the camera because i'm going to be putting together the office chairs on the floor sorry i keep looking over here this is where my computer monitor is and the camera's here so it's kind of weird and I, I can't read the comments and look at the camera at the same time i have a tv on my floor so i can read comments that way but um from bedroom to room to man cave yeah this is this is the, the best equivalent of a Teching 101 man cave that I could muster. Um, but in terms of some of the posters, these three over here, um, the one against, the one nearest the curtain, the window, that's uh, Game of Thrones. And then the middle one is House of Dragons, which is, the or House of the Dragon, sorry. Now, there are multiple dragons, but House of the Dragon, which is the prequel to Game of Thrones, which started airing last year. Really enjoyed that. Ten episodes, really solid, based on A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin, so go check that out. And um, Or Fire and Blood, Fire and Blood. Song of Ice and Fire is the main series, and then Fire and Blood is the, is the actual book that this is based on. And the last one is just um, 
I think it's an alternate artwork from Xanathar's Guide to Everything, which is the it's a supplemental book for D and D. Um, and there's a beholder on there whose name I forget. Um, and so that, that's a pretty cool poster. So I decided to get that. Um, there's some other stuff on the wall. Saitama is over here. That actually, that's Saitama. Can you see him? Oh, you can't. All right. I'm going to try to move this camera and see what happens. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> shit. All right. Um, let's see. It's actually the dance of dragons. Yeah, whatever. Dance of Dragons, Fire and Blood. Wait, no, Dance with Dragons is the fifth Game of Thrones movie, a book, isn't it? Yeah, it's Clash of Kings, and then Storm of Swords, and then Feast for Crows, and then Dance with Dragons. Yeah, Dance with Dragons is the fifth Game of Thrones book. This is Fire and Blood, I think. House of Dragon is based off of that. Um, can we have a game room tour? Uh, I don't know. We could try. Xanathar's Guide to Everything, whose name I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know who? No. Okay. It's not Xanathar himself. It's it's his pet goldfish. The goldfish that Xanathar keeps is like his best friend. That's the name I always forget. Um, yeah. I need share content. Yeah. Well, we got to get moving because I have to go do... I actually am playing D&D later tonight, so I have to do other stuff tonight. So let's get started with chairception. All right. So... This is this microphone should be pretty good at picking up my voice no matter where I am in this room. This room has a pretty good echo, so I'm going to set this right down here so I can kind of move at the same time. So I don't know how good the audio is. I can talk louder. There's always echo. I can also boost it a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. There was an ad about chairs before this. Well, I named the stream... The chair, um, the chair movie building stream, so whatever. Um, we actually already have one of them. It's a bit low. We can't hear you at all. My God, is it? I don't think it's that bad. My goodness. Well, all right. Jeez. Okay. The name of the fish is Slygar. That's it. Slygar, the goldfish boost it a bit well it's okay look it's not going to be here forever i just need this to keep it here for a moment i'll move it later to be closer to me but for right now we have five fantastic office chairs just waiting to be assembled in your local area okay so uh we already put together one i keep saying we as in i i don't have multiple personalities i'm just one guy um but i yeah okay so uh, I have <laughs> one office chair put together already. So we're already one-sixth of the way there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> throw a dart at the dartboard and see what score you get. Okay, I can do that. I got ten. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, will you have multiple personas? Yeah, but personas are not the same as, as multiple personalities. Check out that chair. What's the brand model? Um, Furmax. I, I think it's Furmax. F-U-R-M-A-X, I think is the name of the model. It's a, it's a very nice chair. I'm going to angle the camera down a bit here. Oh yeah, check out that chair. Check out this chair, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm just foggy hold on autofocus all right there we go all right so this is the first chair that i have assembled it's not bad it's a pretty good chair <sighs> pretty comfy chair if i have to say so myself can increase the height of the chair I'm, I'm i'm glad i put a carpet here uh my mom actually helped me with this because if i did not have a carpet here then these chairs would be <laughs> wow <laughs> just like all over the room um, hold on. Furmax. Oh, sounds like it's made for pets. Yeah, I know, right? Sounds like it is. Or by furries, for furries. But I'm hashtag not a furry, so, you know. Why am I here? You're here because you're bored. Let's just be honest. Nobody's watching somebody put together office chairs because they have a lot of stuff going on in their life right now. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Dampening sound. Call so, uh, carpet also good for, yeah. 
rate the chair 10 out of 10. I've already rated this chair. This chair is like 9 out of... No, 11. 11 out of 10. Um, Let's see. But yeah, I got to get started because it's already like almost 2. And I would rather get this done by 4 if I can manage. So we have five more chairs that are all different colors. Uh, we're doing the uh, Super Sentai... Um, we're doing, uh, what is it? What's furniture in Japanese? Kagu? I think, yeah. Kagu Sentai! Chatteranger! Yeah, we're gonna be doing that. We got, um, let's see. We got blue, pink, yellow, black, and green. Those are the colors that we're working with. Um, let's see here. My favorite, your favorite chair color. Um, I'm actually the most excited to put together the green one. Because I'm a big fan of the Green Rangers. I loved, um, you know, Jason David Frank, who played Tommy, uh, rest in peace. And I also liked Adam, um, Johnny Young Bosch, who played Adam, and he was the Green Zeo Ranger. So I like I like Green Power Rangers. He's got the Power Rangers of chairs, yeah. So let's do our first. Oh, and also Green Lantern. I also love Green Lantern, yeah. So we're gonna start with Green, I guess. Yeah, let's start with Green. Why not? All right, so um. How am I going to do this? <laughs> like, I've been trying to figure out how to do this for, like, the last week, and I still don't really know how I'm going to manage this, but I'm going to move this over here, first off. Okay? And then green. We want green, which is this one. All right, green. So I'm going to move this down to the floor, and now I'm going to get on the floor. All right, there we go. There we go, everybody. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> okay, this is so stupid. <laughs> the effort that I went through to get all of this equipment in here is so stupid. Oh, all right, let me grab my water. All right. Mm. Now, thankfully, I had the foresight to set up a TV down here so I can actually read the comments without careening my neck all the way up there. Mm. Anything for content, yeah. Or the Infinity Stones of Chairs. I should get the Infinity Gauntlet in here. All right, now, the good news is... The good news is... These chairs are very simple to put together. Uh, I put together the red one, and all you need... Actually, the only thing that you're supposed to use is this. Like an Allen wrench kind of key thing. Um... I also have a Dollar Tree issued box cutter, which you're not actually supposed to open these up with a box cutter. It has stuff all over it that's like, do not cut. It actually says, no cut, no cut, mesh seating surface. So I don't know how else to open this without cutting it, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna have to be very, very, very shallow with my cuts. But it's okay. I'm a pro with opening boxes with a box cutter. It was my career for several years. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You know, there were plenty of times this week where I was like, should I just put together the damn chairs? You know, like I have free time this week. I could just put them together. I honestly have less free time today. Then I did, like, um, like, like, Wednesday I had a lot of free time. I could have just done it then. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we're going to have a lot of... We're going to have a lot of bubble wrap to go through here. Are you small or is the camera just high? I'm very tiny. Yeah, I'm only four feet tall. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah. All right, the bubble wrap is going to add up. So... First thing is just get everything out of the box. We're gonna open everything up. See this I don't want to use. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice shade of green. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna toss everything over here. I will deal with the trash later. Make sure to recycle, kids. Always recycle. Teching bubble wrap party. <laughs> box, do not cut. Teching cut. Only cut, it should say cut if you're a professional, if you've worked at a dollar store for seven years and you know how to use a standard S4 box cutter, then you can cut. But otherwise, do not cut. 
You will you will cut into the mesh. It will not be fun. Whoa. Alright. Uh, uh. And this is just one chair. This is just one chair. Alright. Alright, that's one box. And then there's this, which is all like the screws and whatnot. Okay. Yay. Oh boy. Alright, I gotta open this up. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be swimming in a sea of bubble wrap after the end of this. I guarantee it. Guarantee. Alright, now where's my box cutter? Where did I put my box cutter? Oh, I need it. I need it! Oh, there it is. Oh, teching, you wasting no time. Well, I gotta get moving. I kind of already wasted the first 10 minutes of this. Alright. Teching unboxing assembly. Teching model kit building. Yeah. It's all of that into one. I made a lot of mistakes the first time I was putting this together. It took me about a half an hour to put it together the first time. I'm thinking now that I've done it before, and we're gonna be we're gonna be pros at the end of this, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be pros. Alright, we're gonna be able to put this together within like ten minutes by the last one, I guarantee. Oh, all right, this is the this is the hydro hydraulic thingamma what's it? Yeah. And here's a lot of screws and washers. Okay. All right. Happy Easter, teching. Yeah. Why do you need two chairs? Well, I'm actually putting together six because uh, this is my game room, and uh, I decided to go with six because six can fit around this table comfortably, and my D and D group has six people. And I have another gaming group that we uh, had five people with last week. So six just seemed like the magic number, you know what I mean? All right, so first thing we're going to do, this is the easy part. We're just going to, I don't even think I need to look at the instructions. The instructions are over there. I'm going to need to look at the instructions at some point just to keep track of the, like, which number screw to put in. Yeah, looks like he has a bunch of chairs in the background. Damn straight I do. 200 people are watching. That's actually more than I thought there would be. All right, so here's the easy part. You just gotta... Ugh, as I say, it's the easy part. Ugh. All right. Just pop these on here. <laughs> if it'll work. <laughs> We've already established a hiccup. Are you kidding me? This was so easy the first time I did it. Yeah, just pop on the... All right, stream's over, ladies and gentlemen. Stream's over. You gotta be... It's supposed to just pop on. Ah, oh, there it is, okay. I got it. I got it. There it is. Okay, now we're in business. There we go. Just gotta find the magic way to angle it here all right boom you have now acquired the base of a chair chair one teching zero do new 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 it doubles as a ping pong table yeah um i have the net for it and then if you take this part off it's a uh it's a pool table so there you go all right, there's only there's only seven steps, and the seventh step is like it's done. So step one complete. All right, uh, I messed this up last time. So you just—it's remarkable how little things need to be screwed in with this. Um, you just pop the wheels in. This just goes right here in the center. You don't even have to really do anything with that. And then this part goes over it. So you want it to be like. Like this, I guess. Wait, no, I put that on. I put it on backwards last time. There we go. I think it's... No, 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 no. I, I messed this up. This is the part I fucked up last time. All right, hold on. Hold on. You want it to be able to... Shit, how does this work again? <laughs> okay, yeah, you want it to be like... Yeah, yeah, I think I was right the first time. You want it to be able to go up like this. So, yeah. Yeah, that was right. 
I think. I guess. No, because, no, because then it won't be able to... Oh, my God. Chair two, teching one. Well, it can't be that way. That just looks stupid. Wait, no. No, no, if I do it that way, it's all just going to fall apart. So, it's not... It has to be this way. It's got to be this way. It's this way. It's this way. It's this way. Um, <laughs> yeah. Put the gas lift on the base, then put on the plastic cover. Yeah, easy. All right, now here comes the fun part. Here comes the part where you have to screw everything in. All right. It gives me a handy little sticker that tells me this is the front. This is the one piece. I read the instruction manual last week when I put together the first chair. And as most men, I feel like if I've, if I've assembled one thing one time, I don't even need to read the instructions. It's all locked away. What's my favorite Panic at the Disco song? Probably, it was um, Hurricane for the longest time from Vices. And then it uh, probably is Golden Days right now. I really love Golden Days. Their last album, which was their last album, uh, had some really good stuff. Do It to Death is really good. Don't Let the Light Go Out is really good. Um, you know, Local God was really good, but I, Golden Days is still probably my favorite one of theirs of all time. All right. All right, we're going to need some screws for this. Yay. So I'm actually just going to do this so I can open these easier. Probably scratch up my floor by accident here. All right, Power Ranger Chairs. Golden Days is top tier. It is a good song. I like it. All right, we're going to want, okay, so uh, the screws are A, B, and C, with A being the shortest one and C being the longest. So we're going to need A's for this. So that's the shortest ones. Why does that table look big? Well, it's probably the angle, but I got to tell you, like, it's actually not as big as a standard... Um, pool table is standard pool table I think is a little bit bigger than that this was relatively cheap too I mean it I mean if you start looking up prices for actual pool tables like wooden pool tables they're expensive man they're like they can run you several thousand dollars this thing was like three four hundred bucks I think um let's see which is it's it, it, you know it looks cool but like parts of it are cracked and kind of chipped so it is what it is Okay, um, I need some washers. Teching is just small. Yes, I am very small. I am small, man. No, those aren't the washers. He's actually doing it, ladies and gentlemen. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Uh, this takes me back to working at a Staples in high school. Yeah, has anybody ever worked at a uh, office supply store? That's a topic of conversation. That's stone. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that too. The stone under the felt is really expensive for pool tables. The slate. Yeah, this does not have slate. I think it might just be wood. And I actually haven't... Well, I've played, like, just to... You know, I, I've messed around with the pool table in here. But like I said, I haven't really had a chance to really use this room yet at all. And I wanted to get a group together and come down here and game, and it's like... Well, I don't really have any chairs, you know? Like, you kind of need chairs for a game room, you know what I mean? All right. So, the one thing is, there's only there's three different kinds of screws, but there's only one set of washers. So, it's, like I said, it's, it's pretty simple. All right. Uh, yeah, please notice the direction, dumbass. <laughs> it might as well just like, make sure to screw it on so it's front-facing, not back-facing. Come on, dumbass, you got this. I'm like, all right. All right, and they, they give you a um, an Allen wrench, but I have my own. I think it's this size. Yes, it is. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. The Allen key. Oh, man, this thing is so good. Get yourself one of these. If you own a house or if you're about to buy a house... Get yourself an Allen key set. Seriously. It'll save your ass. This item, this 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 Allen key right here has saved me my life on several occasions. Several occasions. 
You deserve everything you've earned. Aw, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Can you use your hockey? Uh, I don't know what type of hockey is useful for assembling chairs. Probably observation. Now I just want to see Katakuri assembling chairs. Big Mom calls Katakuri in and just like, Ah, Mama, 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 Katakuri! Yes, Mama. What do you desire? Hold on, I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab some pillows. Hold on a second. You see, I have assembled here because I have a chair that needs put together, and you are my most trustworthy son. Please put together the chair for me. Yes, mother, I shall do so with my future sight hockey. Or you could just read the instructions. Don't hurt yourself, please. Oh my god, can you imagine the chair Big Mom would have to sit in, though? That would be a Herculean task. For Big Mom to put together a chair that's, like, stable enough to handle her, like, she probably would have to get, like, Katakuri, Oven, Daifuku together to build a chair for her. They, she probably would have to. <laughs> oh, boy. Ugh. Katakuri can use 50 mochi arms. It's unfair. Yeah, that's right. Katakuri can get this shit done easy. All right. Step three is finished. Now... Here comes the fun part, where we have to kind of screw these in, but not really, because they have to, like, adjust later, so... Please assemble the armrests and backrest firstly. Don't tighten the screw! It's like, alright, good. Good to know. Alright, now what direction are these going in? Um... Let's see... No. It's... This one. Yeah. Yeah, this is right. Okay. All right, so get another washer. Get this. Pop that in here. Assembling chairs. Man, I'd love to build some chairs right now. You're living the dream, teching. Oh, I am. Favorite Game of Thrones character. Ooh, that's a tough one. I mean... I could be pretty basic and say Tyrion or Jon, but I'm actually going to go with Davos. Davos is such, like, he's the embodiment of, like, he knows, he knows a lot of stuff. He's a worldly kind of guy. He understands what he doesn't know, though. He knows he's not a master politician or anything like that, uh, and he admits it. But it's just like, he's just a loyal guy. He actually started as, like, a peasant, and he was given his knighthood later. Um, he was, no, he was not, he was a peasant. He was also a, a smuggler. He was like a pirate kind of guy. And so he's traveled the world. He's met a lot of people. Um, yeah, there was also a guy named, um, what was his name? Like, it, it, his, like his pirate name was something like Smuggling Sam or something like that. It was like an old pirate friend of Davos who shows up in like one episode of Game of Thrones. He does more stuff in the book. Um, Littlefinger? Oh, no, I hated Littlefinger. Littlefinger is a creepy little fuck. Um, I, I never really cared for any plot line involving Littlefinger. All right, hold on a second. Where do I... Oh, there, like that. Okay. Be adjusted later. All right, good. That's normal. That's normal. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay, now comes the annoying part. Step five is the annoying part. If we can get past step five, we'll be good. All right, now I have to connect... This to this. <laughs> Alright. So this is the front. And it's weird because it's going to be like a strange kind of position. Alright. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to line this up with the picture here. Alright. So. Okay. And we're going to use... C screws for the backrest, and the B screws are for the armrests. So I'm going to need four Cs. And I think they give you some extras in case you mess it up, because they're nice. And then I'm going to need all these B screws. All right. Okay. Tacking, can you do an interview of the chair instruction manual? Um, an interview with the chair instruction manual. I don't, I don't know. It's really happening. He's teching opening his office. Gaming table. 
Q screws for conspiracy theorists. Yeah, there's different kinds of screws for each person that is, uh, you know, believing in certain things. Okay. All right. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Who was Nelly? Who was Nelly? I don't know. All right. Ugh. See, this is this is the awkward part because I'm trying to figure out a way to like get this. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, sh shit. All right, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hold it up like this while I put it together. I guess. Yeah, this is gonna be awkward. I'm gonna have to like put washers on these screws like one-handed. Oh wait, damn it. All right. R&B singer, 2000s rapper, hip-hop artist. Uh, let's see. Watch your fingers. Uh, I don't think I have to worry about my fingers getting hurt. Do a barrel roll. Uh, you, you could do the barrel roll yourself. If you're watching this on a phone, you could easily make myself do a barrel roll. Yeah. Safety first, hacking. It's not really about that. It's just awkward to... All right. There we go. I'll just get these in here with my finger. Ah, oh, sounds dirty. Would you do another record of Ragnarok video? Um, maybe. Because I do love that series. Okay, I could just do it like this, but I'm still going to have to... Oh, man. I'm going to have to thread all of these with my bare hands with one hand. I could ask Barry to help me, but he's a brick. Where did you buy these? Um, where did you buy that? You got some buff arms. Well, thank you. I just actually, I was at the gym earlier today. So thanks for that. I appreciate it. Where did I get these? Um, I bought some of them off of, hold on. I got to figure out an easier way to do this. Um, hold on. Hold on a second. I need something to prop this up with. I think this, I'll try to use the box for that. Hold on. If I can figure out a way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have something that would work better, probably. Hold on. Hold on. Ugh. Ha ha ha. This would probably work better. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yes, that's what I needed right there. Who needs another, who needs a person to help you put together a, a chair when you have a, I'm, I don't know what a, a, a foot rest. I don't know what that thing is actually called. All right, there we go. There we go. This is this is per Yeah, right there, baby. Okay. <laughs> yep. Now we're good. Now we're upgrading. Plushy stool. Are you still going to the gym? Yeah, I just said I'm going to the gym. I was there this morning. I actually worked out a little longer than I normally do. Not very much, but I'm working on it. Okay. Okay. All right. I think step fives. I'm glad I figured out the uh, the stool strat at the first chair and not on the third. You know what I mean? We're almost done with the first one, though. Honestly, Tekken using 100% of his brain. Oh, this is not 100% of my brain. This is like I went from 30% to like 40%. If we're being honest here. That's not to say I'm a genius. That's just saying I don't use much of my brain in any given particular instance. Okay, and then I'm just going to put these ones in as well. How do you read the comments? Um, once you have been doing YouTube for long enough, you can kind of just psychically link up with the comment section. It's really annoying sometimes. You know, when I'll just be driving in my car and then all of a sudden it'll just be like, you suck. I'll be like, oh, <laughs> you suck. And so does your mom <laughs> last night. And like, like, oh, man, come on, guys. <laughs> the troll comments, man. Stop it, dude. Yeah. I ate the comment comment fruit. Yeah. This is actually coming together pretty well. Um... She, she was a rescue. She was in a kennel 
my mom got her when she was two and had her for about a year and a half. So she's like three and a half right now. And, um, oh, stream broke. Shit. We're back. Internet gods, please help us. Office chair monologue. Are we back? Are we good? We are so back. It's back. Okay, good, good, good. Because I don't really have the ability to, like, you know, check the stream when it dies like that. So, sorry. If it dies, it dies. If he dies, he dies. All right, so now I'm just kind of putting the finishing touches on this one. I'm just going to have to tighten these screws. And then I'm going to have to tighten the armrest screws. And then all I have to do is just pop it onto that thing, and then honestly, we're good. Attacking, is the chair for your office in the bakery company? Yes. Yes. I'm back from the dead. You need a better screwdriver. It's not a screwdriver. It's an Allen wrench. It's an Allen key. Can you tell us a story from the gym? Uh, I went to the gym, and I worked out, and then I left. Not really a lot of weird stuff happens at the gym. Not a lot of crazy stuff going on, you know? It's just kind of a gym. It's not like it's not like a Pokemon gym, you know. I didn't walk in to see like a graveler getting the shit kicked out of it by a, by a bell sprout, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. Oh, okay. Try that again. Ah, there we go. There it is. What are you working on? Um, go back and read the title of the stream, and that might give you an idea. What's my gym goal? <laughs> I don't set goals. I just go to the gym. I don't I don't plan things. But shouldn't you plan? I mean, you nah, it's fine. <laughs> Most of my life can be summed up with, ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> ah, it's good. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Seriously, just start living your life that way and it'll probably be a lot easier on yourself. Ah, it is, ah, it is, it'll just work. That'll be good. It'll be good. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. No goals, only shredding. Iron! Real. <laughs> Why do you have to set goals in your life, you know? Did Eichiro Oda set goals? Nah, he just writes One Piece. He just writes the greatest piece of fiction ever put to paper. He didn't set goals, and neither should you. Part of what I said is maybe, maybe, possibly true. All right. I think that's just an extra screw. Okay. Um, uh. Aha! I still have to tighten that. We're not done yet. I still have to tighten the arms because they're popping out a bit. He's making chair senpais. That's still one of my favorite lines from um, the last chapter. One of the, it's just, I don't know why I love it so much, but I, I, I quote it. I quote myself a lot of times with this, and it's when Hibari is like, we need to save Kobe, Senpai. And I just add another Senpai on that, and it sounds so, like, we have to save Kobe, Senpai. He's my Senpai. <laughs> just, I don't know why. I don't usually laugh at my own jokes, and it sounds really fucking arrogant whenever you do that, but, like, I don't know why. I just find that funny. It's just, like, because that's something I could see, like, Habari saying, you know? He's my senpai. <laughs> like, uh, uh, okay. I think we did it. I think we did it. Ah, uh, it just immediately falls apart. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Is it really a chair? <laughs> ah. All right, let's see if I can actually. Yep, yep, there it is. Chair number two is done. I already had chair one, this is chair two. We got the red ranger and the green ranger set. 
chair twist. <laughs> All right. Huh. Yeah, I need I need more chairs for my chair -um anime. Electric screwdriver with um, Allen wrench attachments. I have. No, nah, that wouldn't work. I have a driver and I have that. I've, I've been thinking about getting the Allen wrench key, but it's like, whatever. Oh, uh, that's the most green. That's the most beautiful green office chair. Excuse me. I've ever seen. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> All right. Next one. I'm trying to figure out where to put all the chairs so you can see them. Hold on, let me um let me lower this. Alright. So we got red and then we got green. Lower it. Yep, we're good. Okay. Yep. Yep, we're good. Yep. Okay. We got red and green. Pokemon, red and green. Do you have a blue chair? I do, and that'll be the next one we put together because I just saw that one first. Okay, now, here's, well, okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask you guys a question, all right? So most of these, the boxes don't actually tell me what color the chair is. I looked all over the box, it doesn't actually say. But I got most of these chairs, uh, I ordered them all together, but I got them on separate days. So I got like, you know, the green chair was the only one delivered one day. So I know that it was the green chair, you know, so I marked it. However, the last two that arrived were the ones that came today. And I just got them earlier and um, they came, two of them came and I have no idea. One's pink and one's blue. I marked them, but I, it's a 50-50 shot. I don't know. So... This is the one I think, yeah. Ugh. This is the one I marked as the blue chair, but I don't know if it's actually blue. It could be pink, but we'll open it up and we'll find out. I should probably move all this stuff over here. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a drink. I have a fridge. Yeah, they actually left me the fridge. The people that lived here before me had the fridge in here already and they just left it. They were nice. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be pink or do you think it's going to be blue? Is it a boy or a girl, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> boy or a girl? Although the whole blue pink thing is I, I feel like that actually it never used to, it was actually used to be reversed and then it used to be just babies were dressed in white. And it was very, like, neutral colors. And then I think the pink and blue thing didn't start until the 20th century, honestly. Um, yeah. Very carefully. Very carefully. What do you guys think? G gender reveal. This is the best... Okay. This is the best kind of gender reveal for a baby. Where it doesn't involve setting a forest on fire. Okay? What chair are you getting? <laughs> blue or pink? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It was a 50-50 shot. I named it, I titled it blue, but I could be wrong. All right. Uh, and there's a piece of cardboard, so I can't see what it is yet. What's it gonna be? Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. It's a girl. <laughs> we got, it's pink. Pink? All right, so I, it was a 50-50 shot. I was wrong. <laughs> All right. Barry is pregnant with a girl. <laughs> Woo, knew it! <laughs> Senor Pink? Yep, I'm giving birth to Senor Pink. <laughs> All right. I was debating whether to get the pink one or the purple one. There was another chair that was purple. There was another one that was orange. Um, but I went with, because I, I like purple more than pink. I, purple is a really underrated color. I love purple. Um, but 
it's if I'm going the Power Ranger route with it, I need to have, you know, red, black, green, yellow, blue, uh, red, and, and pink. You know what I mean? Unless I said red twice. Whatever. But, yeah. Ugh. Orange? Yeah, orange is my least favorite color. I would have never have gotten a yellow. I would never have gotten an orange chair. I hate... I, I don't hate it, but... Orange is not my fave color, guys. Not my fave. You went with the right call with the Power Rangers setup. Yeah, I think I did. It was a little bit extra money for the... for The, the black chairs were the standard. Those were the ones that were like... I was just going to get six of those. And those ones uh, were like like a little cheaper than the other ones that are all the different colors. But hey, man, you, you see the you see the opportunity. You see the opportunity with the Power Ranger setup. You got to go with that, right? What's with all the chairs? We're putting together chairs, man. Why does that have to be weird, dude? We're just putting together chairs. You ever never you ever been to a YouTube live stream before? Never been to a stream before where you put together a chair? You're the weird one. Just saying. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. All right. What are they for? They're for sitting down. What else do you use chairs for? Do you build chairs when you're constructing a, a death laser? I don't know. You'd probably want... Okay, if you did have a death laser you would probably want something to sit down to man the death laser. And you would want that to be comfortable, right? You don't want to sit on an uncomfortable... Like, imagine you went through all the trouble to build a death laser, and it's like you just throw on a metal lawn chair, like a foldable metal chair you got for 10 bucks at Walmart. Because it's like, man, I put so much energy on the death laser, I didn't have time to plan how I was going to sit on the death laser. You know? Yeah. Okay, so... um wheels yeah oh man why do i keep losing my box cutter i need that all right somebody's gonna have to keep track of this box cutter in the future wait nope that's a remote oh but we are changing the color scheme up hold on a second uh i don't have pink on here but i do have purple i do have purple here it is here it is i got it i got it i got it I got it. Thank you. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like Dora the Explorer. Can you find Tekking's box cutter? Where is it? And it's like the little cursor shows up and you're like looking for it. It's just like, no, I don't think it's there. There you go. <laughs> um, however, how do you say congratulations in um in Spanish? Uh Feliz, um, something, Fel Feliz Navidad? No, that's Merry Christmas. Um, <laughs> I, d I don't know. I, I didn't do great in Spanish in high school. All right. Okay, next up. Uh, Felicidades? I don't, I don't know. Feliz, that, I don't know how to pronounce that. God, I really suck at Spanish. Ugh. All right. Starting with the wheels. All right. What time is it? It's 2.30. It's 2.30. We're moving along in an okay clip, I think. Hold on. I'm getting kind of warm. I'm going to turn the air on. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn the air on down to 68 because what is your preferred room temperature? What is your preferred temperature for when you're chilling out of your house? I know some people that chill out to like 60 degrees and other people want it to be like 85. It's like, yeah. Ugh. There we go. See, I told you. Oh yeah, see? Now we're talking. Oh yeah, now we're going. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. Get in there, wheel. All right. Bam! All right. Yep. 65. 65 is too cold. Magic number 69. Ugh. Okay. Um, all right. 
Oh wait, next up is... <laughs> Alright, and then we need... Oh, did I throw it away? I didn't throw it away, but I threw it away in the box. Um, hold on, wait. Did it not come with one? <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> did it not come with the little... The cup thing? I think they forgot to give me a cup thing. That's so weird. I don't think I need one. I don't think it really matters. Because it's just... I think it's just there to kind of just, like, prevent the mechanism from getting jammed or whatever. I don't know. Damn. What? Really? Ugh. Hold on. I don't... I don't think they gave me one. Alright, you know what? I don't care. I get to skip a step then. Woo! I get to skip a step! Yeah! Yeah, they didn't give me the little cup thing. Try the box again. Box is empty, dude. I'm looking straight at it. Completely empty. Ikea would never... Missing part on stream. Well, the good news is it's not a part that I actually need. Um, yeah, so, all right. Um, I think I'm just making sure here. Did anybody see a cup thing, the little, the little triple cup thing that, like, expands under the pillow? No, it's not under the pillow. Did it fall under here? see it huh okay well like i said I, I don't think it's really necessary for this so all right whatever then man whatever man okay okay yep all right, line this up. We're gonna need back to the A's, right? Yep. The Atontada stole it. Did you try under the table? No, it's not under the table, man. It's all good. It's not a big deal. It's not a super important part. I think it's more there just for aesthetic, honestly, rather than... uh. Yeah. Be all right. Washers. I missed 54 minutes. Why are you building so many chairs so people can sit in them? All the people of the world coming together and sitting in chairs. Doesn't that just sound lovely? Isn't that what John Lennon sang about, ladies and gentlemen? Imagine a world where everybody sat on chairs. I'm gonna be the chair master. Damn straight. How many chairs have you put together in your life? Because I'm putting together like six in the same week. I just like sitting on the floor too. Yeah, I'm, I just like sitting on the floor, honestly. Uh, it's not all right. They won't match anymore. I mean, from the from the aesthetic from on top, they will. If you have a friend that comes in and immediately starts looking under the chairs every single time, then it's just like, okay. <laughs> you know what's funny? I didn't even consider this, but there is there are Power Ranger D and D games. I didn't even consider that when I bought the chairs, and I just thought it would be a cool aesthetic for the room, but, like, dude, I kind of have to play a Power Rangers D&D &D at some point now, you know what I mean? I kind of have to. You are the Blue Ranger. Just rewinded, no cup. All right, well... 
It is what it is. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Is what it is. Okay, what's next? Uh, getting the arms on this thing. I might have to scoot over for this. Ugh. God, this is awkward. You know what's funny? If I did this without a stream, I might have been already... I don't think I'd be done yet, but I probably would be further along. But you know what? I said I was going to do a stream where I put together chairs. And I'm going to do a stream where I put together chairs, damn it. Seize. What are the odds I'm going to slice my finger open with this box cutter at some point? It's two to one? Three to one? Taking odds. Uh, let's see... Yeah, chair! Woo! Chair! Give me the chair, my god! It's a chair! No, don't say that out loud! Dude, when I worked at Dollar, you know how many scars I have on my hand from how many times I've cut myself with a box cutter over the last, the, the seven years I worked at Dollar Tree? Oh my god. I have, like, probably on each hand, I probably have at least three or four. And ironically enough, they were never bad enough to really go to the hospital or anything to get stitches. I only, I've only had, I didn't really get stitches. Um, I had the option to get stitches, but he instead um, just, um, he glued me up with that liquid skin stuff. But the one time I really sliced my finger, and it, it, was, it was my fault, 100%. I was in the kitchen cooking dinner. I was cooking bratwurst, actually. And I had this really sharp knife. I had bought this Cutco knife. From a friend, uh, one of my friends had gotten a job uh, for Cutco selling knives, and uh, I bought a knife from him. And it was really nice, and I even, I even kind of like told him, like, I'm gonna slice my finger on this at some point. Like, I know it's gonna happen, dude. And he's like, well, just be careful. I'm like, yeah, I'll be fine. So I'm cutting onions in the kitchen. My mom, I'm still living with my mom. At this point, uh, my mom's in the living room. She's watching TV. She's probably watching, like, Inside Edition or The Bachelor or whatever my mom was watching. And uh, I'm talking to her about something. She asked me a question. I'm talking to her. I'm not paying attention. I'm an idiot. And uh, sliced, my, sliced my middle finger right here. Just almost all the way down to the nail bed. And uh, it was bleeding. And I tried like all the standard things to kind of stop it from bleeding and it didn't stop. And it's like a half an hour goes by, 40 minutes go by, I'm still bleeding. And this is like seven at night. And I'm like, okay, well, where I lived back then was pretty far from like an actual hospital, but there was like an e-care, like an, like an urgent care center, but they close at nine. So I'm like, I gotta get going. So my mom and me went down because I didn't know if, what they were going to do. I don't know if they were going to have to bandage up my hand or like if I'd be able to drive or whatever. So I get there, and uh, he's like, yeah, I can stitch it up or I can uh, just glue it back together. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, just go with the glue, I guess, man. And he, he glued my hand back together, and uh, he gave me a tetanus shot, which is probably a good thing I had to go because I, I did not have my tetanus shot for a while at that point. So I needed that anyway. Um, but yeah. Now, the fun part of this story is my mom had work the next day and she was kind of annoyed that um, she had to go with me to get my finger fixed because she's like, I got to get to bed. I got work tomorrow, you know? And um, after I got my finger patched up, we went to a gas station because I, I was still hungry and also I kind of lost some blood at this point. I wanted to get some food because I'm not cooking dinner now. I'm hungry. And I stop and get two lottery tickets. I get... Uh, two $10 tickets. I get one from me and one from my mom because uh, I felt bad about, you know, dragging her out and everything. And uh, she has to go to bed and she's tired. So I get her a lottery ticket and she won 50 bucks on hers and I won 150 bucks on mine. So my mom now is just like, wow, it was a good thing that you sliced your finger. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's a weird way to look at it, but sure, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Gas station taquitos. No, I think I just got a burger. I went to Gitco. Anybody that knows Pennsylvania cuisine, Western Pennsylvania cuisine, as they know about Gitco. 
That kid named Finger. All right. I need more C. Oh, they're over here. I was like, where are all the screws? <laughs> Did they forget to give me the screws, too? Devil's luck? I guess. Truly a mom moment. Yeah. I'm glad my mom retired, honestly, because she was always... She was so, like, scared of, like, getting fired from Walmart. Like, I can't call off because Walmart... I'm like, God, Walmart is our god. Walmart is our queen. You know, <laughs> you know like, we must all bow to the greatness of Walmart. But I'm glad she's not working there anymore. She deserves a break. My mom's been doing nothing but cashier work ever since she was, like, 18 years old. She deserves some rest from that bullshit. I did it for seven, and I was done. I will hopefully never have to work in a store again. Because uh, that was not fun. I mean, it was okay, because I like the people I worked with. But, like, you know, just the just you know dealing with... Anybody that works in retail knows what the hell I'm talking about. You know what I mean? It just it wears on you. It drains you. Yeah, it drains the shit out of you. Oh my God, get this. This washer keeps falling in the... Hold on. It's not angled right. Okay, hold on. Let me try that. No. There we go. Damn it. How do I get this in there? There we go. Keep it right like that. Like that. Ah, fuck it. Damn it. I'm getting ready to not even put a washer on this thing. You know what? Screw it. It's not fitting with the washer. The customers are not always right. Oh, absolutely not. Most of the time, I would say the customers are not always right. Some customers want me to quit. Yeah, it was it was never the people I worked with at Dollar Tree that were the problem. That was never the issue. I mean, I've worked with people that... You know, I've worked with some people that I liked more than others. But that was never the problem. There was somebody I worked with once that actually threatened to punch me in the face once. <laughs> that was that was funny. Um, but, like, it was never the issue with that. It was always just, you know, customers coming in every day and just, it just wears on you. The Big Mac must have been delicious. I have not had a Big Mac in a while. There's not really a McDonald's within close proximity. I mean, there's a there's a McDonald's that isn't super far from me, but, like, it's kind of, like, on the main drag of, like, the, the main road, and it's, like, really busy. So, like, pulling in and out is kind of annoying. So I don't really go to McDonald's all that much. Plus, it's just not good for it. I go to Panda, though. I don't know if it's healthy or not, but every time I work out, I always go to Panda Express after, which, good source of protein, but I'm not really sure if, uh, I don't know, but that's what I do. Volume is low. Well, I don't know. You'll be all right. Put on some headphones. <laughs> I go to Chipotle after and get a bowl. That's what my friend Phil does. Because I told him about that. It's like, I go to Panda after every time I work out. And he's like, you should go to Chipotle. And there is a Chipotle down here. I just don't care for it that much. It's okay. But Panda's amazing. Panda Express is incredible. Teching just eats endangered animals casually. Yep. Yep. I just go into Panda and get myself. I would like one of your most endangered Chinese pandas, please. Nom, 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 nom. All of the pandas. Ah, oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it think did i get it no i did not uh, have you ever traveled overseas no the most i've ever traveled was i went to la last year that was it hold on i think i i think i tight, i tighten these prematurely i should not have tightened these at that point yet I've never seen a situation where the customer always right would be applicable. 
Um, yeah, me neither. I mean, like, we lived... I live in a pretty country kind of area, so it's not like we had, like, a lot of crazy people in Dollar Tree or anything like that, you know? But occasionally. They were, they were less about that, and they were just kind of more annoying, you know? Like, I remember one time I was working... And this uh, family had a kid, like a little, like a two, three-year-old in the store. And this kid was just screaming his head off the entire time he was in the store. Just, you know, just nonstop. And they were in the store for like 15 minutes. This kid did not stop yelling the entire time. He's just like, ah, he's, like, he's not even yelling. He's not yelling anything incomprehensible. Like, he's like two. Okay, but he just did not stop throwing this massive tantrum. His parents... T tuned him right out his parents you could tell they had been used to this they just like okay honey stop yelling ah! okay honey stop it they did not even acknowledge it really and uh i started to get a headache my co-worker todd got a headache and just by the time they left we're just like oh good god you know what i mean like so it's like dealing with that crap every day not every day but a lot of it when will you reveal to the world that you're using in the brain brain fruit? Oh, um, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't want to reveal Oda's, you know, that that's that's more for Oda. Oda gets to decide when that gets to re be revealed, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't deign to understand the man. How do you keep your positivity through tough times? Uh, I put together chairs. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, if, if I'm going through rough times, it just keeps my mind busy with something, you know? Owning a house, there's really no end of things that I can work on or fix up or move around or rearrange. So, you know, it's just like, keep yourself busy. Read, sleep. I don't know. Okay. All right. I think it's pretty secure. Okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I don't think the uh, I don't think it was really an issue that we didn't have the uh, the cup. But are there any genres of show or movie people would be surprised you watch? Um. I don't know maybe like i'm reading uh agnes gray right now which is a book by Anne bronte which is you know like one of the sisters of um the bronte sisters which uh wrote um jane Eyre. wait yeah it was jane Eyre, and then Wuthering heights and then agnes gray so not like the standard probably kind of literature that you would think that i would read but i've always wanted to read Wuthering heights and I found a nice little collection of their books, of the Bronte sisters' books in a in Barnes the other day, and so I bought it. And I'm reading Agnes Gray first because it's the shortest, but it's uh it's a pretty interesting book. The prose is pretty exceptional considering it was written in like the 1840s. All right, I think we're good. Ugh, wouldn't have expected that. Yeah, see, there you go. Ugh. Ugh. God. All right. Now, can I still do this without the cup? Yes, it's fine. It's just, it just, it doesn't look as, as aesthetically pleasing. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. All right, cool. We have the second share complete. La. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Ugh. Your best assembly time yet. Yeah, nothing's... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need the cup. Thank God. That's the one... I honestly think... Well, okay. If they left, like, if they left, like, one screw out or, like, a washer out, I think I could make it work. And I have replacements for all that. I have, like, extra screws and stuff downstairs. But, like, um, if they forgot a wheel or if they forgot one of the armchairs or, or something, then I'd be, I'd be screwed. But, um... That's the one piece that they can actually forget, and it's it's perfectly fine. Go for the world record. Yeah, somebody needs to keep track of how long it takes me to assemble these chairs. All right, it's 3 o'clock. I wanted to be done by 4. I have an hour to finish three more chairs. Do you think we could do it? I don't know, but we're going to try. Just checking everything to make sure it's all bolted right. 
I think we're good. Uh, follow up that missing piece. I'm not going to care. The One Piece! Yes, the One Piece is... I don't even know what that thing is called. It's... It's this thing. Item J. That's it. That's the thing that was missing. So I don't know what you want to call that, but that's what was missing. All right. Uh, what's next? Uh, let's do the black one next. Just because I can make more room. Oh. All right. For the other chairs. I'm going to start a new new religion. The chair religion. The chair cult. Oh, boy. I need a snack. I want to get some blueberries. And I'm not assembling the blue chair, but I'm eating blueberries. What colors are left? Black, blue, and yellow. Mm, where do I sign up? Everybody in here is automatically the top level of it. You guys are all saints. I'm I'm canonizing all of you. I'm gonna be the new the the Pope of the chair religion. I'm canonizing everybody here. Saint Joseph, Saint Daniel, Saint Kraken Ninja, <laughs> Saint Lloyd, Saint Blazer one two one eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, God. I have the knife. Okay. And this is an extra screw. I'm, I'm discovering we're having an extra screw each time. All right. Let's go. We're saints over here. Over here. I don't think I need to really worry about cutting into the mesh because there's a piece of cardboard that's right underneath it. Of course, this is the one they forget the mesh. Well, see, this one's a little different because this one has the armchair poking out. Wow. Ah. The celestial dragons. The celestial chairs. All right. You know, you know the procedure. Ooh, this one has an extra piece of paper. This one has a warranty card on it. The item has arrived, but it's different from what I ordered. Dear customer, I ordered several items. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Also, the paper is different quality. This paper is way flimsier than this paper. I can tell. I can tell the difference of these papers. Also, this one has a thing on the bottom. Under penalty of law, this tag shall not be removed. Aha! <laughs> no! CIA, open up! Alright. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Uh, criminal! Actually, they couldn't get into this room anyway. It's covered with boxes. Alright. He's a criminal. Actually, it said, unless by the consumer. I am the consumer, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Ugh. It's a Quincy cross. My Volt Standik. Ah, you have committed the ultimate crime. No one snitch. Yeah, no one snitch. You guys are all, I made you guys all saints in my religion. Come on now. I was actually reading up on Sikhism the other night. I like to just study random religions. Learn about the human condition, you know? I love studying history, and you can't you can't study human history without tackling religion, because it's literally part of human history. It, it's like like literally defines culture and tradition. That's pretty much like a big like honestly, can you even really have tradition? Like, when I say this, I'm talking about old school. I'm talking about, like, the early civilizations that, like, like Samaria and stuff. 
like in that situation, like culture and tradition is pretty much connected directly to their religious views at the time, you know? So, yeah. Now we're just getting on the religious part of the stream. I have no idea what we're... I, I feel like I've been doing this stream for like over an hour and I haven't really talked about anything relevant. Somebody asked me a question. I don't care. I talked a little bit about random stuff. Okay, say they gave me the cup. They gave me the cup. So we got the cup. We got the cup, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Aha! All right. So, yeah, they did. They just forgot that cup for the pink one. That's not cool, man. It's not cool. Have you ever heard of D's? D you know what? I'll play along. D's what? I've never heard of D's. What can I do with D's? Sometimes you just gotta bite. The cup is cannon! Yeah! Woo! I don't know why this was so hard on the first one. This is easy now. Because we're pros. We trained. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> okay. Cup. No! Wait. All right, there we go. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Yay! Cup. We need some funny history stories from Teching. All right, funny history. Uh-oh. This does not say which side is the front. Oh, that's not good. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, we gotta play this. Wait. Hold. This is the back. This is the front. What are the odds I'm going to remember that? What are the odds I'm going to remember that? Uh, all right. The, the part that has the, the, the screws for the back par part of the chair, obviously, on the back. So this is the front. Okay. This is the front. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm the master of chairs. I got this. I, I started a chair religion. Dear God, I should be able to do this. All right. Uh, funny history stories. Um... Uh, I can tell you the story that one time Caligula tried to make a horse a senator. Uh, there's this one time. Well, okay, so this is a thing. So it's one of those stories that's like exaggerated to make it like more insane than it really was. So the story goes that Gaius Caligula, who I think was like the third or fourth Roman emperor, something like that. He, um, he was crazy, right? Like, everybody always talks about Caligula being, like, batshit nuts, which he was. But, um, one of the things that apparently he did was he tried to make his horse a council, consul, for the Senate, right? And, um, that wasn't actually true. What it really was, was he meant it as, like, he was basically trying to insult the other, um... Like, the other senators. Like, he was trying to make a point. You know, he's just like, Oh my god, you guys suck so bad at being Roman senators and consuls. I could make my horse a senator and he would be better than you guys. You know what I mean? That was, that was basically... It was an insult. He didn't... I don't think even Caligula in his crazy, whacked-out mind would have actually considered making a horse a consul. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was also the time that he did declare war on the ocean. <laughs> There was one time Caligula did declare war on the fucking... Oh, I declare war on the seas! <laughs> like, not... He doesn't declare war on a like a, a people like pirates. He declared war on the actual ocean. That's funny. Um, the, the story there was... Um, so, I think a lot of people understand that Rome had conquered Britain. Uh, the island of Great Britain, and they named it Britannia. That did not happen until Caligula's successor, uh, Claudius. I think Claudius was the one that actually conquered Britain from the Celts, and he called it Britannia. And um, Caligula, though, attempted to raise, I think, a couple of legions. I think it, he tried to do this twice, I think. And he tried to raise these two legions to conquer Britain. And they almost mutinied. They threatened a mutiny because they didn't want to do it, I guess, because, like, poor management or whatever. Or, like, like we're not going to do that. We'll die. 
so we're not listening to you, Caligula. And then Caligula basically was like, well, we have this legion. I have to have something to show for it. I declare war on the sea! Damn you, Neptune! I will take seashells from the seashore back as war trophies! Which he did. He ordered his legion, he ordered his men, a badass Roman legion, to collect seashells by the seashore and bring them back home and to exhibit them as trophies of war. Now, whether or not, the, 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 once again, once again, I don't think he was actually that crazy. I think he was just trying to, like, fuck with his, like, legion. Like, oh, you guys are too wimpy to, ta to tackle Britain. All right, I'll have you just play in the sand like a bunch of little kids then. You know what I mean? Like, you know, because I'm the emperor, bitch. I get to tell you what to do. That was that was the idea there. The poor fishman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the story of Caligula, fun guy. Oh, but you know what? He's not even the craziest. You know what I mean? Like, everybody points to Caligula as the craziest Roman emperor. Dude... Let me tell you a story about, um, Ele Elagabalus. Elagabalus, dude. Anybody know about Elagabalus? <laughs> oh my god. Now that dude was... <laughs> okay. So Elagabalus. <laughs> this was a couple hundred years later. This was like 200... He died in... He died in like 220 AD. So Elagabalus was an emperor. He became emperor when he was 14. He got killed when he was 18, so you can kind of give you, that kind of gives you an idea of, <laughs> they didn't like him very much. It can kind of give you an idea there. Um, I don't want to know this story. <laughs> I don't want to know this story. Elagabalus, um, he was uh, probably re well known as like the most provocative of all the emperors, even more so than Caligula. He would regularly dress up as a woman he would prostitute himself he offered an insane amount of money to any doctor that could give him female genitalia he was he was born biologically male but he he might have been transgender um you know it's looking back through history actually now that i'm thinking about this story he might have very well have been at, you know because he, he he really loved to dress in woman's clothing and uh like go around at parties and stuff um but beyond that, he was just not a good, he was not a good emperor, but he was a teenager when he was an emperor. So you can see that like, it kind of just went to his power, like that the power just kind of went to his head as well. So yeah, trans femme, yeah, it, it might've been something like that. And he just didn't know how to really, I think there was also a thing at one point where he offered like, I want, this was a, now, okay, listen, this happened like 2000 years ago and these stories expand and, and change throughout the years. But as the story goes, Elagabalus, at one point, as the emperor, basically sent out a decree to the Roman Empire that, <clears throat> I therefore command, I want to see the man in the Roman Empire that has the longest schlong. Fine, go to the furthest reaches of the empire. Find the man with the largest ding-dong and bring him before me. <laughs> like... That was a thing that he apparently did. <laughs> like, now I don't know if he actually met the guy. I don't actually know if that happened. But, um, that's apparently something he decreed. <laughs> yep. 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 I love how everyone's just like, yeah, that tracks. I don't even know this dude, and that still tracks. I've never even heard of this guy, and that tracks. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, Roman Empire. Um,. He eventually, now actually though, he was a bit, now he was a prankster, as you can imagine. He was a teenage kid that was made the emperor of the largest empire in the world at that one point. So you can imagine he got into a lot of other shenanigans. People didn't really care. The, 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 um, the Praetorian guard uh, ended up killing him. But the thing is, he wasn't actually the one making the decisions at the time. Because he was only 14 when he became emperor. So even back then they were aware that like, okay, the 14 year old kid is not going to know about matters of state. You know, so it was his mother, Julia, and her sister also named Julia. So it was, um, it was Elagabalus's mother, Julia, and his aunt, Julia, that were basically running the empire. 
So Elagabalus is over here doing all of his, like, dressing up as a woman, prostituting himself at drinking dens, and, and demanding the most hung gentleman from the entire Roman Empire to have an audience with him. He's over here doing that shit. His mom and his aunt are actually running the empire, like, the day-to-day -day activities. The aunt, though, basically was like, hey, I should just, like, kill my sister and my nephew, and then I'll rule, like, you know, and then so that happened. So, you know, that was a thing. And so she did. So the one Julia killed the other Julia and her, and her nephew. And that was how he, he was 18 when he died. And that's the story of that. <laughs> Find the largest ding-dong and bring him to me henceforth. I demand it. I am the emperor, damn you. <laughs> like, shit. Oh my god, dude. But would you, if you were emperor of the largest empire in the world, as far as you're concerned with, uh, when you were a teenager, would you really do anything different, honestly? I demand everybody in the empire partake in a bloody knuckles competition. You know what I mean? Like, you'd be doing stupid shit like that, too. Not saying the same thing that Elagabalus would pull, but, like, you're, you're, you're probably gonna do some stupid shit like that just because you can. You know? All right, uh, I need uh, seeds for this. I'm trying to, okay. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, it would get into your head easy, especially when you're at that age. Oh yeah, it would, it would, it would, you would be mad with power. Find me a schlong as long as my empire. Emperor <laughs> Teki. I don't know if I would do the schlong thing, but... You know, I would just relax, dude. Well, man, I'll tell you what, uh, Gilga, bro, you could have been a better emperor. You could have led, you know, it's the period of Roman emperors where it was the five great emperors. It could have been the six great emperors. You could have been there too. Why so many chairs? I don't know, man. You know, it's also crazy. That got me thinking about, so I was thinking, I was thinking of Rome. I'm thinking about the assassination of Caesar, right? Because the Ides of March were last month. I'm actually almost a month exactly. So, you know, Caesar gets stabbed on the fucking Senate floor. And that also got me thinking of a moment during, actually, this is American history. This is Civil War history, or right before the Civil War. There was an incident where a senator, wait, hold on, was it a senator or a congressman? I think it was a congressman attacking a senator. Um, basically beat the shit out of um, an elected official, like, on the floor of the Senate. This was, like, 1856. This was, like, right before. This was, like, when the tension of the Civil War was kind of building to a, fe a fever pitch. So there was a guy named Sumner. Um, he was, I believe, a senator. Uh, and he was, uh, a couple days before this, he was basically giving this massive speech to the South. And he was basically, like, he was, he was very anti-slave, uh, Sumner was. And he was like, you know, you know, the South needs to get in line and they need to abolish slavery and, you know, the evils of slavery, get it out of here and all that shit. And he got up there and he gave this really fiery, impassioned speech and he called out a bunch of Southern congressmen and Southern senators of just like, you know, these senators are disingenuous, you know, and we need to get rid of the evil of slavery in our country and all that crap. So a couple days later, a couple days later, um, dude is just at his desk on the Senate floor. Like in, this isn't in his office. This is on the Senate floor. Like if you watch C-SPAN, you can see like the, the Senate from the United States Senate. And he's there working at his desk. This guy comes in, his name is Brooks. And he was pro-slavery. He was from the South. And one of the people that Sumner had shit talked was a relative of this guy. So Brooks walks in with his cane with two of his, like his buddies. He walks in. He goes up to the desk, Sumner's writing in his desk, and he's like, Sir, I listened to your speech the other day, and the senator that you disingenuously talked to or whatever, he, he was a relative of mine. And before Sumner could even, like, look up from his desk to even see what was happening, he's just writing in his paper. He's like, Sir, I heard your speech yesterday. Oh, yes. <gasps> Bam! And he just, he, this dude, this Brooks dude, takes out his fucking cane and beats the shit out of this guy on the floor of the fucking United States Senate. <laughs> it just, and he doesn't stop. Dude, dude, it's not just a love tap. He's 
ferocious. He's beating the shit out of him. He's trying to move. He gets up. He beats him down. The cane snaps in half. He picks up the half, keeps beating him down. His two, uh, like, bodyguards, they were, like, his friends. They were also, like, they were also representatives. They were also, like, congressmen or whatever. They pull guns, and they're like, everybody, Dub, don't, don't move. Don't try to stop them. Leave this between them. You know, so they're, they're, they're holding back everybody else. Dude, he just is beating. He's wailing on this guy. Just He's trying to get out, and he just keeps beating him down. He eventually loses consciousness. He still keeps beating him after he loses consciousness. And eventually, he finally, it finally stops. They finally drag him off of him. Um, but, uh, yeah, that happened. So, you think politics is crazy these days? It is. But, like, you look at in through history, you see Caesar getting stabbed to death on the Senate floor, and then you get freaking uh, Sumner just viciously caned. Um, after, after this, all the senators were bringing guns into the Senate hall to, like, protect themselves. Oh, man, that was, yeah, that was a wild, that, that also just goes to show, like, that is the perfect representation to me that, like, war was inevitable. Like, war was kind of always, like, I would imagine, like, pretty much even before the country became a country, before the Declaration of Independence was even signed, long before that, pretty much as soon as America started, the transatlantic slave trade was already, like, they were bringing slaves from Africa into Jamestown. Jamestown was founded in 1607. I mean, this is... This was like this was set up long before this that there was going to be a violent war to decide the fate of like whether or not slavery was going to be allowed in this nation or not. And but that that story just goes to show just like yeah, this was the level of of animosity that the north and south felt between one another at that point. Yeah. I've been bamboozled. No, there's no cat. I don't know why you think there's a cat, but there's a, actually no, yeah, there's a cat somewhere. Uh, if you found him, congratulations, you win a cookie. But yeah, that's that story. History stories with teching. History with teching. Okay, this one looks a little different from the other chairs. I mean, it's the same kind. It's just you know slightly different in way. Everything's kind of set up here. All right. Please, more history, sir. I'm not as into politics. Like, if you asked me to talk about, like, current politics, I wouldn't really be able to talk to you that much about that. But I love history, yes. How do you learn about history? You buy a bunch of really big history books, and then you read them. That's what I do, anyway. All right. Uh, C's. Okay. Does the table open? Um, this part lifts up, and there's a pool table under this. Have I ever heard of E10? No. What do you? Th what do I think about the Ukraine war? Well, I have family that lives over there, man. Um, I've never met them myself. My uncle John's been over there a few times. Um, he's way more into the, like the Ukrainian uh, culture and everything. Um, than most of the people in our family. Um, but yeah, uh, they live in Western Ukraine, so. You know, it's still it's still rough. Uh, last time I heard, they didn't really have. They only had power for only a couple hours a day. You know, generators and everything. I mean, it's rough. E ten D's nuts. Oh damn! I walked right into that one. Checking. What's your favorite YouTube channel? I'm really a fan of. What am I watching a lot of re recently? Um. Uh. I started watching a channel called Atun Shay, which is actually a channel where a lot of like Civil War history is from, and uh, he's it's pretty pretty cool shit, man. He's a filmmaker, so he also makes like um like it's like a big production kind of thing. So he'll do like history of the Civil War and answer questions and stuff, but he'll do it in a very cinematic way. So I really like that channel. Check out his stuff. Yeah. Do you prefer shorts shorts over pants? I prefer to wear sh uh, pants, to be honest with you. So, you know, like, oh shit, am I, ah, wait, no, 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 we're good, we're good. I put in a C when I should have put in a B. Does anybody know why he's making chairs? Dude, I mean, it's really not complicated. I make chairs so I can, you know, 
sit on the chairs. You know? Okay. Have you ever watched that brew video about the gamer chair that exploded and shot up a pole to someone's ass? Uh, no, I haven't, but somebody told me about that recently. And they were like, you know, you got to be careful with those office chairs. They could explode. I'm like, well, it's one of those things where I feel like it's so rare. I don't think I have to really worry about it. I'm making six chairs. I have to have five backup chairs. Yeah. Why do you need eight? Oh, wait, friends. I love that. It's like, wait a second. How do, why do you need eight chairs? Oh, there's six, by the way. But like, oh, wait, I get it. He has friends. Like, yeah. There you go, buddy. There you got it. Will you do, will, do you guys will do another D&D &D movie? Uh, oh, you mean One Piece D&D &D movie. Um, I don't know because I think we're kind of, did I run out of washers again? I swear to God, they give you a different number of washers and screws each time. I swear to God, they just, they just like, they just spitball it. They're just like, ah, you'll probably need this many. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, chairs are what I do for a living. I YouTube doesn't really bring in the bacon like it used to, guys. I have to build chairs now. Ew. It's a it's it's not a it's not a glamorous life, but it's it's good enough. Alright. Gotta tighten all these up here. new house um well i mean i bought this about a year and a half ago so i don't know what you consider that new but yeah i guess good news is this will be like the last thing i really need for this room i mean there's a couple of other things like some game controllers i need to grab but like this is this is like the last big thing i need to do for this room i put together the zach helped me with the table my friends helped me put up that tv i had the delivery guys put in the couch so, this is really the last thing I need to do. <sighs> yeah, it's ending soon. Um, Rustage said 7172. I mean, that's provided we don't die. I mean, next episode is going to be episode 70. And I'm, I'm, I have no idea what Rustage is planning, but this really does feel like the last battle. Um, we're going to be doing One Piece Marines afterwards, so don't worry. It's not like we're going away forever. Um, we'll probably take a break, like a little bit of a, of a break in between, um, One Piece D&D &D and Marines. I still have to, I don't even know what my Marine character is going to be. I haven't even thought about it yet. Chairs are the best of friends, the best of friends, the best of friends. Chairs are the best of friends, la 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 la. Ugh. Yeah, you probably need to have a break, yeah. And Isekai, Rustage told me, like, Isekai is not going to be nearly as, probably as long as One Piece D&D. I mean, Isekai is already getting close to episode, like, 30. I think we were on 26 last time. So, I think Rustage, I mean, I don't think Isekai is ending anytime soon, but, like, it's it's not going to be, it's not going to be no 70 episodes like, like One Piece was. I still can't believe we've been doing one piece dnd for over three years it doesn't feel like that it, it really it's been three years since coronavirus really kicked off i mean that's so wild will you record dnd i don't know i have to ask my friends obviously because you know it, they'd have to be okay with it um but maybe all right i think i'm almost done guys with this one Teching, have you ate the chair chair no me? <laughs> I think I have to say yes. Okay. Uh. Yeah, there it is. Chair number four. Ugh. Uh. 
Okay. Woo. Oh. Oh. I get to rest in the chair after every time I make a chair. Oh. My life is complete. Tonight we play D and D, but later we will have that D in me. I see. Um, don't be coarse, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, come on, don't be, don't be rude. Um, 25 minute record. Do you have a favorite color chair so far? Uh, you know, I, I'm partial to green. I'm partial to the green chair. Uh, yeah. These chairs are what the Power Rangers would use to pilot the Megazord. Absolutely. There are 310 people watching right now. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. We got two left. All right. Um, I think, um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I do have a bathroom that's right here, but I don't want to, like, knowing my luck, I'll mute the mic, and the mic won't mute, and I'll just be in the bathroom, like, peeing, and you'll hear everything. So, uh, I know some people are probably into that, but I'm going to use another bathroom. I will be right back, um, and we have two more chairs to put together. I don't know if I'll get done by 4, but I might get done a little bit after 4 if I do get done. What time is it? Yeah, it's 3.30. I probably won't get done by 4, but it won't be that bad. Yeah, take the chair. It'll help. No, let us listen. Let us listen. I will be right back. Ugh. Did you miss me? Oh. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, we heard everything, Teching. We heard every single piss. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Uh, I heard everything. Those back, those bathroom noises. Where's Barry? Uh, downstairs. Everybody got naked. You missed it. Oh, Ultimate Power, how you doing? We didn't hear you wash your hands, sus. Did anyone make the let's all hide comment? Eh, probably. Yeah. My fly's undone? Ah, oh, damn you. That was the one that I was like, oh shit, really? No, we're good. We're good. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Let's do the yellow one next. Yeah, okay. Now, the yellow one is the one I'm most concerned with. 
because every single okay some of these i bought off amazon some of them i bought off walmart they're the same kind of chair like the same company makes them but some some of the uh, descriptions called the yellow chair light green or lime green or neon yellow or just regular yellow so i'm it was the same picture for each one so it looks yellow but it's like some of them are saying this is lime green some of them are saying it's yellow some are saying it's neon green i'm like i'm really hoping that it's yellow like it's just something that like i might be colorblind i don't know uh i guess we'll find out Ugh. Yellow, pink. Ugh. All right, this is the one I'm kind of concerned with. Oh, we had a lot of extra screws on that one. Yeah, I think they're just giving us random screws. Yeah, we'll all pretend it's yellow. Yeah, there we go. Oh, please, please. How's the weather in PA? It's so hot in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's hot this week. Although, I was going to do this tomorrow, but um, the thing is, it's going to rain all weekend. It's going to rain all weekend. It's going to be really cold. Not cold, but like rainy in 50s, and it's just like, eh, I'd rather get it done now, you know? All right, what color are we working with? This is lime green. <laughs> this is lime green. This is not yellow. Well, I don't know. Hold on. It's it's in like a thing. I don't I don't know. I don't know. This is I don't hold on. Um I can't like Yeah, I it, it is kind of yeah. I don't know. Is this lime Yeah, it's lime green, but like you can also kind of see it as yellow, kind of. It's lemonade yellow. Nah, it's yellow. It's not yellow. I don't know. Well, it's what I have, okay? I'm not going to return the damn chair, all right? It's what I have. It's going in, you know? It's yellow enough. Yeah, that's my point. It's yellow enough. It doesn't need to look like fucking... It's my least favorite out of the chairs. I'll, I'll leave it at that. It's good enough. It's good enough. It looks different enough from the regular green, you know, like, look at that. Actually, yeah. Like, yeah, that does not look, that is not the same color of green. That's all I care about. I just don't want there to be, like, two shades of green that look pretty similar. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ugh. Yeah. <sighs> it's identical. Yeah, screw you. Uh, yeah, the yellow Power Ranger. Yeah. Oh, the yellow Power Ranger in Lost Galaxy, um, Maya was her character's name. Uh, I think she was, I think she's like a nudist. Or something like that. Like, I read about that once where it's like she, like, or something. Or I don't know if she was a nudist or if she just did, like, nude, like, pictures at one point. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know the whole story. But, like, yeah. What? <laughs> I hope not. Why? I mean, she was, yeah. This was something I'm recalling that I, is in the memory banks from a long time ago. So I may not be... Uh, it might not be right. Somebody look it up. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, now. <sighs> okay. You can never trust anything you read online, you know? I love Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. That was the first season I watched all the way through. Like, I remember watching the first episode when it aired. Back when life was a simpler time. I got the cup! Wasn't the yellow one... No, you're thinking of Trini from Mighty Morphin. There's There's been other yellow Power Rangers. 
Trini, yeah, uh, she died in a car accident in, like, 2001. Shui Trang, I think her name was. Yeah. That was SPD yellow. I don't know. One of, one of the yellow rangers I heard might have been a nudist. I, I don't know, man. I'm not... I'm not a Power Ranger historian or anything like that. I just, I like the show. All right, here we go. Two more chairs. We're going to do it. Just yellow and blue, and then we're done. And then I get to lug all my computer equipment back over into my studio. That'll be fun. All right, got that. I slam the gas canister in there. That's going to explode one of these days. It's going to blow right up in my face. All right. Well, you know the procedure at this point. The seizure procedure. Ugh. Oh, this one has another tag. Ugh. This one actually says front, though, so that's good. All right. Lining that up. I have so much trash over here off. I mean, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Why are all these colors teching? I don't know, man. Aliens are taking over the world, and they're allergic to multiple colors. We have to fight back with rainbow technology. It's the only way to win. All right. Sandstorm starts playing. Yeah, somebody got the reference. There you go. Uh, yeah, some of my items were delivered today. Yeah, they sure were. Have you ever seen the Dune movie? No, I haven't. I have the first Dune book. I just haven't read it yet. Um, but I always intended to because it's really good. I have a list of stuff. You have to understand that, like, being a YouTuber. I get so many recommendations for every work of fiction ever made, ever. Like, so, at a certain point, it just kind of blends together. Like, read this, watch this, play this, listen to this. And it's just like, oh, I'll add it to the list, guys. I'll add it to the ever-ending, ever-expanding, never-ending list. He's hiring my own. Yeah, I'm hiring my own set of Power Rangers. They're going to be the YouTube Rangers. They will defend the honor and integrity of all good YouTubers everywhere. All right. So there was a nudist character in Power Rangers episode? No, there wasn't. She wasn't nude in Power Rangers. She was nude, like, at another point in her life. I don't even remember, like, the whole story of this. I read this, like, years ago. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about modern Power Rangers. Yeah. No one will ever take them down. Power lies on their side. Go, go, Power Rangers. the 25th anniversary of power rangers they're doing no it's the 30th it's 30th anniversary they're doing that uh, special on netflix like uh david yost is coming back played billy johnny young bosch is gonna be in it it's gonna be fun steve cardenas who played rocky yeah all right good scratched myself is it bleeding not yet the first injury hey the first injury like three seats in four of them in i, I think i'm good okay. after putting these together I'm starting to realize there might not be a big difference between the different types of screws. <laughs> oh. Yay! 
Yeah, it's it's yellow enough. Is it like bright? I actually don't know if I would have preferred it if it be like super bright, like mustard yellow. You know what I mean? So SPD was gas. I liked SPD. SPD I didn't really watch much because it was kind of like a little bit after my time. But it was um, it was good. I watched everything from. I watched a little bit of In Space. I, I started watching Power Rangers with In Space when I was five. And then Lost Galaxy was the first season I watched all, I watched all the way through. Then Lightspeed Rescue, then Time Force, then Wild Force, then um, Ninja Storm. And then I think Ninja Storm was the last season I watched all the way through. I watched like a couple episodes of Dino Thunder. But also like with Dino Thunder, it was cool that Tommy was back, but also it was... It was when they started really heavily relying on CGI. Like, there's a scene in the first episode of Dino Thunder where Tommy is, like, fighting against a, a T-Rex. And it's, like, a T-Rex robot. And, dude, it is so bad CGI. Like, even when I was, like, I would have been, like, 11 when that episode came out. Like, even at, like, 11-year-old me could tell that, like, this CG is bad. You know? Like, and so I think that kind of killed it for me. I was getting older, too, you know what I mean? You don't really watch Power Rangers when you're, like, in high school. I, I, actually, I was only, like, 11, so I wasn't even... I was getting to middle school at that point. All right. Okay. Now, moving on to the fun part. Ah, uh, 2000 CG at its finest. Oh, yeah. Not even just 2000 movie CG, which could be passable sometimes, but, like... This was 2000s, like, low-budget cart, low-budget New Zealand-era Power Rangers CG. It's going to be pretty low-budget, man. All right. All right. You load 16 tons. What do you get? A bunch of Power Ranger chairs, you bet. Yeah. Oh, didn't put this one over. Ah, damn it. Ah! There we go. Get on there. Get over there. There we are. There we go. Right. Oh, oh, I put all the screws. Power Ranger CG is its own aesthetic. Yeah, it really is. Mystic Force was cool. I like. I, I think there was a period there where I didn't really watch Power Rangers like the seasons, but whenever a new one came out, I would watch like the first episode just like out of tradition. And then uh, I think I did that all the way up to Overdrive, and then I was just like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I don't need to watch this Overdrive shit. Overdrive was really bad. Like, the theme song to Overdrive was bad. Operation Overdrive Power Rangers. Operation Overdrive. It was not good. I might have done a better version just now. <laughs> like, seriously. Jet X. Oh, dude. Jet X was good. I remember Jet X. Going down my grandparents' house, watching Jet X anime on their computer because we didn't have a computer with a good enough internet connection yet. We didn't get high speed internet in my house until I was like fifteen. Cause yeah, so I missed I missed all of early YouTube. I missed everything from two thousand eight earlier. Like like it was like late two thousand eight. It was like October of oh eight when we finally got internet that I could finally watch YouTube. So um, yeah. I wasn't there at the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's like when people say to me, like, wow, Tekking, you've been on YouTube forever. You're, like, part of the old guard. And I'm like, I don't really consider myself the old guard. I feel like if you're going to put YouTube in, like, eras, then the first era of YouTube is, like, when YouTube first started. So, like, 2005, I would say, if we're like, 2005, 6, 7, that was, like, era 1 YouTube, you know? Where everybody was still trying to figure out like what this was and what you could really do with it and what belongs here and you know all that kind of shit. 
Um, and then I, I, I'll, I'll go with me being maybe Era 2, because I started the channel in 09 with my medieval uh, medieval Let's Plays. So maybe maybe I was Era 2. But maybe we're up to like Era 8 right now, or 9, I don't even know. If you go, well, if you do every three years, so 5, 6, 7 is 1, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We're in Era 7. We're in YouTube Era 7 right now. On the scale that I just created. <laughs> yeah. YouTube Era 7. I didn't get the internet till I was in high school. Once again, I'm missing a washer. Yeah, watching one... Oh, I, dude, I remember that. Watching Naruto on YouTube, every episode had like 17 parts. Dude, I could do you one better. I used to watch... Um, this was back when we had dial-up internet. I still tried to watch the uh, videos on the internet anyway. Because we had like Adult Swim and shit, and I was really into Fully Cooley, because that's like my favorite anime like ever. And... Um, I was going on Google Video. I would go like on Google Video and try to watch episodes of Fooly Cooly, 20 minute episodes, and it would take hours and hours and hours to load. Sometimes it would crash halfway. You know, like it, it was literally that bad. It was literally like you wait 20 minutes and you maybe have like 10 seconds of material. That's it. I mean, it was, it was dark age shit, man. I remember watching episodes of uh, Gurren Lagan, I think, on, on YouTube. I think they had some episodes on there. And then, there, of course, there's the abridged stuff. Um, you know, the first abridged series I think I ever saw was Dragon Ball. Because uh, that was, like, in 08 and 07. And I think it was, yeah, because I got internet in 08. So, yeah. I remember one of the first things that I... Right, right when I got internet was when the Nostalgia Critic and the Angry Video Game Nerd were doing their epic battle. Uh, they were having that big feud... Which that always, that's like, that's kind of like the origin point for internet drama, in my opinion, because like, it's so weird. Because if you go back and watch those episodes where James and Doug are kind of making videos at each other and like, you know, you stole my review idea, you stole my review idea. Dude, there's people that actually thought that they hated each other, even though they were so over the top and ridiculous with their videos. They actually seriously thought like, Doug, you're stealing video ideas from James. You're not allowed to review the same movie he did. You're blah, blah, blah. Because people are actually believe that shit. People actually believe they fucking hate each other and they're making videos against each other and they want each other to, like, die or whatever. It's just like, dude, internet was wild back in the day. And then they did that big epic battle. Yeah. Jesus, that internet. Yeah. Jesus. Super Mecha Death Christ. Super Mecha Death Christ, bitch. Yeah. So I, I started watching the internet like right around the time that was happening. Um, yeah. I love the epic rap battles of history. Don't they still do those? I watched one a little while ago that was uh, Mansa Musa versus, like, I think it was Jeff Bezos. When were you exposed to Newgrounds? Um, let's see. Uh, probably in high school. So when we were in high school, we had, like, this um, internet blocker thing called Barracuda. So you couldn't actually access YouTube on the on the school server, but it only worked on certain websites. So they they blocked like Facebook, MySpace, because back when MySpace was a thing, they blocked YouTube. They blocked obviously any porn website. You're not allowed to get on that on the on the school server. But they didn't block every website because they couldn't. They can only block the websites that like a lot of students were most traffic to. So if you were watching like like with me i was one of the only people in school that really watched the nostalgia critics so that guy with the glasses.com was not blocked so i could watch that stuff on the 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 you know the school's computers also all of the manga websites that i you know like like one manga manga stream back in those days i could watch and i, mean, I could read the manga when it came out at school so I had class first period. I had a computer class first period. I could go in and read the new Bleach chapters, and those websites weren't blocked. So, yeah. They blocked one manga at my school. Well, they didn't at mine. All right.
Okay. So it was uh, it was fun. I remember going to school. I remember I had a computer class in the morning. I had an accounting class first thing in the morning, and that was in the computer lab. And I could watch, I could read uh, manga then. And then right before I, the last class of the day was also a, it was a web design course. And I could, you know, watch videos or the new Nostalgia Critic or the new Angry Video Game Nerd or whatever. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's yellow. Now that I'm looking at it more, it's yellow. It's yellow and green. It's both. Oh, oh. we're almost done. 352. We only have one more chair to do. So I was a little bit, I was almost accurate with this. If I would have started a little bit earlier, I would have gotten it. Ah, uh. oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot the cup. All right, hold on. Oh, wait, I don't think I can put it on now. I mean, <sighs> wait a second. I don't think I can take this off now. Can I take this off? I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. Oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> you missed a piece. I don't care. It's fine. It's okay. Um, unless I can pop this part off. I think it like clicks in, and I don't think there's I don't think it's really designed to come undone. Hold on. I don't wanna <sighs> Yeah, I don't really wanna push it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not fucking with it. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's good. Hopefully the, the last one will also be missing a cup. If the last one is also missing a cup, we'll be set. <laughs> yep. No! All right. Oh, last one, last one. actually got this done way it was actually not as bad it, it, you know the first couple were like annoying because you know i'm getting used to it but now it's like same same shit different day you know what i mean oh uh, let me move them down a bit so they're still in frame yeah okay Good. Uh, warn his friends about the defective, not yellow chair. <laughs> All right, last one. Blue. Uh, which is my favorite color, actually. So ironic that we're doing that last. Nom 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 nom. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's get this done. Last one. Don't forget the cup this time. I kind of hope the cup is not in this one, because then I can, <laughs> then I can put that one on. little housing development has recycling. Blue! Blue! Hold on. Blue mode. Blue. Blue. I don't, you can't even see it. I have, I have blue lights in the... Alexa, game room blue. There it is. You can't even tell, really, but the lights turn blue. <laughs> you can't even see it. I'll put the camera up later. I'll show you. All right. 
He's blue. Da da dee da da do. Da da dee da 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 do. Da da dee da do do. Ugh. I'm blue. Da da da. Oh, this looks cool. This is a cool one. Yeah, this is definitely blue. This is not like chartreuse or anything. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that's blue right there. That is some blue. I'm blue. Da -da -dee -da -da -da. All right. The last chair. The last chair bender. Only the avatar. Only the chair avatar. Master of all chairs could stop him. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed, and my brother and I found the new chair avatar. A, a blue chair bender named Ang. Ugh. All right. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, you can kind of tell. Like, there's a little bit of a reflection. Which is your favorite chair? How did I get into OP, One Piece? Uh, yeah, it was four kids. Ah, damn it, there is a cup. There's a cup on this one. Son of a bitch. Now I have an extra cup. I can put both cups on this one. He was getting refurbished th during the Hundred Year War. Yes. All right, let's let's speed run this chair. See if we can speed run this. What are the speed running strats for this? Don't use washers. That's basically the, the speed running strat. Chair Vatar. giant pile the giant never ceasing pile of boxes and bubble wrap all right yo listen up here's a story about a little blue guy that lives in a blue world and all day and all thing and everything he sees is just blue like him inside and outside blew his house with a blue little window and a blue corvette and everything is <laughs> blue all right long ago the four furnitures lived in peace god this is so stupid all right last one <laughs> let's try not to mess it up all right guys last chair let's do this by the book Nothing fancy. I don't want to see any new age chair building techniques here, guys. I don't want to see any fancy pants screwing techniques. Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it real. Just keep it standard and we'll get through this, okay? Yes, I watched the second season of Record of Ragnarok. I've watched it like three times already. Chair speed building technique. Yeah, the Jack the Ripper fight was good. I really liked, um, dude, the scene, probably the scene I've watched the most of the new record of Ragnarok is Raiden fighting Shiva. And it's in episode nine when he uses uh, Yada Garasu. I've seen that. I mean, that's such a cool, like the music does it. And it's like, oh my God, it is so epic. I could watch this for hours. Yeah, but you're not going to. Tell you what, you can go back and rewind this and you can watch it as much as you want. <laughs> All right. Back in my day, we had to hunt our chairs ourselves. We had to go out in the wild. Actually, that wasn't not that's not untrue. You you kind of did. You, I mean, back in the day, there were nobody there was nobody selling anything like cavemen and shit. So you had to go if you wanted a chair to sit on, you had to go build it yourself or find a nice sitting rock or a sitting stump or or something to sit on. You yeah, you you had to kind of do that yourself. So you're not wrong. 
You're not wrong. Record of Ragnarok is really good. I mean, I like it. Hold on. I like it. You had to sit on your neighbor's lap. I mean, I don't know what they did back then. I imagine they would just, like, find trees and stumps and rocks and just sit on that shit, I would imagine. You ever wonder, like, about history? It's, it's crazy, because it's like, dude, at some point, somebody had to invent the first fucking door. You know, at some point, somebody had to invent the first proper chair. At some point, somebody was like, hey, let's... Even if it was just, like, you know, a, you know, a, a Neanderthal or somebody, just like, oh, oh, ugh, put two chair piece together, two pieces of wood together, make chair, you know? I think the Egyptians had the first doors that were, like, pretty contemporary. They chair-bended, yes. What happens at 4 p.m.? Nothing happens at 4 p.m. It's just that I have to go down my friend's place tonight, and I have to make a character for a D&D &D session, and also I have to clean up all this, and I also have to move all my computer equipment back to my studio. So, and I have to eat. So, like, it's, it's not like I have to be done at 4. It's just, you know, get stuff done, and then I have to go and work on other things. I don't know what the best time it is for the chairs. I think 25 minutes is like a standard. But I don't know how much it was the last time. The last chair, I think I got done a little bit quicker. Yeah. Fire benders. If you could be any bender, what would you be? Bender from Futurama. Yeah, I'd be bender from Futurama. Bite my shiny metal chair. Man got chair building S rank skill. Yeah, I'm gonna enter the regionals. Regional chair building competition, guys. And if we're really good, we might be able to go to Worlds. We head to uh, Sweden for the chair building championships. We go to Stockholm. I thought it would be more sore doing this, you know, sitting on my floor for two hours and, you know, especially since I went to the gym earlier and everything. I, I thought I'd be more sore doing this, but it actually, I feel fine. I was like really, um, I was really congested this morning because um, I think we had like a high pollen warning today. So there was a lot of that. I feel better now, though. I should take some allergy medicine, though. I never used to have to, I never used to have allergies, and then a couple years ago, it just kind of started. Tekken got some buff arms, do I? I don't know, man. Don't put the cup on. Well, the cup's already on, all right? The cup is happening whether you like it or not, okay? I guess on just the yellow and pink chairs, they don't exist. I love that. You have buff arms. Yeah, for a skinny dude. For a skinny dude. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'll take it. All right. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, would you want the roulette roulette fruit in real life? I mean, yeah, it would be pretty dope to have that because there's not really a lot of devil fruits that suck so bad that you don't want to get them. Even the jacket fruit. I feel like I could do something with the jacket fruit, you know? I'm a one-piece expert. So I feel like at this point I could get any devil fruit and make it work somehow. You know what I mean? If you're a pro, you can... If you're a pro, then you know. There you go. There's a there's a phrase for you. All right. Get that on there. Good. There we go. Okay. All right. 
There we go. Why so many chairs? My head's exploding. I can't handle this many chairs. Teching. Teching. There's too many chairs. At least I don't need to look far for instructions. I have like six different copies. I can just grab one. All right. Chairs. You get the yomi yomi nomi, which is useless. Uh, how is coming back from the dead useless? Well, I guess if I had the roulette fruit, I would only have it for like five minutes. I could still figure out some way to, some application to make it work. If I got it and then immediately died, would I still come back to life? I guess I would. So, fun fact, um, eh. Eight, wait, 8 minutes, 25 seconds. Oh, uh, shit, I gotta speed up. Actually, I'm not going to use washers. For, I don't even know if you're supposed to use washers for this one particular one. Because the washers don't even fit properly. Frame the instructions. Yeah, after this, just get... I already framed everything else up here. I might as well frame the instructions. And these are the instructions I used to put together all these chairs. Crazy, crazy day I had. What D and D class have I not played? Uh, quite a few, actually. I've never played Barbarian. I've never played a Bard. I've never played a Warlock. I've never played a Druid. I've never played a Ranger. I've never played. I think that might be all of them. Now that I'm playing an Artificer and Isekai D and D, I'm playing Anthony. I am playing Anthony. Is that table huge or are you a tiny human? Uh, I'm looking at the comparison between me and this chair, me and this table, and it really doesn't look that big, guys. Like, how big are the tables where you're at? Do you just have massive tables? Because this table seems pretty, pretty relative size to me. Can't handle it. There's too many chairs. Too many chairs. Uh, I don't think Marco's immortal. Um, I think he can still age. I mean, he clearly still ages. You know what I mean? Maybe if he awakens his fruit, then he can come back from the ashes if he dies. But, yeah. This one has two screws left over. Just want to say I love your content. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate the support, guys. Just the 279 of you are in here right now watching me put together some stupid chairs. That means the world. And I think we're almost done, actually. Provided nothing else stupid happens, I think we'll be all right. I think we might. I think we might have a world record here, ladies and gentlemen. World record chair. Best content on YouTube all week. Holy shit. How many pull-ups can you do? I don't know. I don't really do pull-ups. They're annoying. You should have uh, timed yourself and added a speed run category. I should have. But I don't think I'm going to be ever in a situation in my life where I'm going to have to put together six chairs again. You say that now, but we cut to five years later. Here I am putting together 12 chairs. Glad you got actual office chairs instead of gaming chairs. Gaming chairs are bad for your back and extremely overrated. Tell Briggs I said that. Um, so, like, honestly, I didn't even do it for that reason. It was just a money issue because some of those gaming chairs, like the gaming chair I have downstairs in my office that I use for my videos, that thing is, like, over 100 bucks. 
you know these chairs were like 40 bucks each i think the ones that were colored you know like like blue green whatever they were like a little bit more they were like 10 bucks more or something but like nothing huge so like i didn't want to i didn't want to buy like like a uh, six two hundred dollar gaming chairs you know what i mean so i just found something that was my friend that uh i'm going down his place tonight to game um they have a little they have a, like a smaller gaming room and one of the chairs there that i always sit in is, is like this it's like an office chair that has the wheels and has the armrests and has like the mesh and i've always liked that chair i always found it very comfortable so i'm like oh i'm just gonna get six of those like you know i'm just gonna do that you know and um yeah, that's where that came from. But I'll tell Briggs that uh, he's hurting his back, I guess. All right. Ugh. There it is. Woo! All right. Just have to tighten these. And I think we'll be all set. Ugh. Ugh. Why did he get six chairs? Victory! Screech! Uh, oh. We are the champions, my friend. Whoa! And we'll keep on fighting to the end. No time for losers, cause we are the champions. Of the chairs. <laughs> oh my god, I'm done. All right, hold on. Uh, uh, okay, see, the, the lights are actually, it'll be better if I turn off the ceiling lights. There it is. Oh, it's so blue. It would be better if it was also at, at nighttime because it's still daylight outside, but yeah. All right. Ugh. I have assembled the six great office chairs of the All right. All right, uh, what happens now? Uh, what happens now? Uh, do we, um, do we do like some kind of ritual or something? Uh, the blue chair. Yes. Hmm, yes. Ah, I see. Hmm. Oh my. Hmm, yes. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. We did it. We did it, everybody. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The OP D and D crew. Yeah. Well, if if Rustage and everybody somehow found themselves stranded in the middle of Pennsylvania for some reason, uh, yeah, sure, they could come on up and we can all play. Yeah, there it is. There are the six mighty office chairs. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I hate to cut it off, kind of, you know, just suddenly, but. I got a lot of stuff to put away. I got a giant pile of... Look at all this shit. Look at all this. Look at all that. <laughs> I got a giant pile of boxes to put away. Ugh. Mm. I also have all this computer equipment I have to turn off and then take back down to my studio. So... And then I have to do other... I have to eat and uh, do other stuff. So I think I'm going to end it here. I appreciate everybody coming out to watch me on the chair Palooza stream. Uh, now you've got to buy better wheels for each. Now nah, they're fine. They're good. They're okay. They're good. Uh, so I wasted money sending Techie 101 a super chat message. I I'll get you next time, Mr. Hyena. Don't worry about it. You always send me a bunch. I appreciate it. I'll get to it next time. Um, okay. Name the chairs. Maybe next time. All right. Okay, well, you guys have a good one. I'm going to go clean all this up and arrange the chairs in a nice, aesthetically pleasing pattern. You guys all have a good night. Um, still no One Piece this week because it's Friday and it's still this week. But next week, it's going to be epic. I can already tell. I have no idea what the chapter is going to be about, but it's going to be epic. Okay, you guys all have a good night.
This will be teching, signing out. Later, everybody. This will be up on the vlog channel. Don't worry about it. Later.